Hi there, I'm Alex, a Quad Code support agent. How can I help you today? Uh, hi Alex, uh, I have a question about Claude Code, so I'm about to log in now, but my question is about the slash commands, right? There's a slash command called compact, uh, I don't quite understand what this do, can you explain this? Yes, I can certainly help with that. The compact slash command is designed to help you manage the conversation history within Claude Code. It essentially streamlines the conversation by focusing on the key information. It's useful for keeping your... Okay, so what you saw there was my uh, Claude Code Support AI voice agent. So we are actually using the new Eleven Labs conversational AI to set this up and it's pretty easy to set up. So today I thought I could just walk you through how I did this. We're not gonna go into deep details, but I'm just gonna show you an overview of how I kind of set this up. And we have something else that uh, at, after this conversation is done, we can import this and we can do some analysis on it. So uh, we're just gonna start here. So on the 11 Labs conversational AI, we have a tab called Agents, right? And here we can kind of configure our agent. But there's one more thing. You saw me holding the phone, right? So to get this uh, phone number here, this is connected to Twilio. So you will need an account on Twilio to actually have this uh, that people can call with their phone, like a real phone number, if you want that. But uh, there are other ways to implement this uh, too, I think. But I just wanna go over how I set this up. So uh, in conversational AI, we have something called agent, so we can pick our language, right? I set it to English now, but it, I can also do Norwegian, I try that. So here is kind of the simple system prompt I set up. Your name is Alex, you're a Cloud Code support agent. Your task is to help customers with support on the Cloud Code software, assist the customers with the questions, be polite, good mood, speak natural, and be patient and helpful. Okay, so that's pretty good. But you know, this system doesn't know anything about Cloud Code. So what I went ahead and did, is that I went ahead and I collected all this information about Cloud Code. I just went to their, um, yeah, settings page here, documentation, everything on Cloud Code here. Just copy some pages and I pasted it into my text file right here. And I went back to the conversational AI. And there's something called knowledge base. So if you scroll further down here, agent knowledge base. I uploaded the cloud code.txt. And now our agent has all the information I wanted it to have about uh, what it's supposed to help us with, right? And that's pretty cool, right? So if you scroll up here again, we can go to voice. So I picked Alexandra voice I had in my 11 lab setup. Remember to set this to this TTS output format if you want to use Twilio. And you can see we can also pick an LLM. Uh, if you go back here, you can see what LLM is gonna support this. So I just picked the Gemini 2.0 flash light, but uh, if you look here, there's a bunch of other models we can select. We can do Claude 4, uh, we can do, can we do Gemini 2.5 Pro, 2.5 flash, and there are some prices here. Uh, so I just picked Gemini 2.5 flashlight. It's very cheap, seems to work pretty good for this uh, use case I have. We have some other options here too. We have analysis, security, uh, vid chats, and stuff like that. But what I was interested in is getting this call history, right? So here you can see the calls we made because this can be brought over by using an API. So this was a conversation we had, right? We can see the summary here. We have the transcription so we can bring everything in and we can use this data to do further analysis, right? So we see, if we head over to, uh, yeah, we can do cursor here. So here is kind of my code base, or like my knowledge base. So I'm gonna call again, and I'm gonna ask it more detailed questions that is kind of hard to answer, right? We can ask more about slash commands, we can do a lot of this. And when this is done, you can see we have this 11 Labs poll, uh, conversation polling. So immediately when we hang up and a new conversation is registered in Eleven Labs, we're gonna pull this in here and run it through OpenAI to create a analysis of the conversation. So that is kind of the pipeline I set up. And let me show you one more thing here. So when we pull uh, the transcription, uh, we're gonna do a cloud code, port, cloud, co cloud code support analysis and we have some points here we wanna do. Here is kind of where we put in our transcript and out we get this uh, analysis report I'm gonna show you. Uh, but since this is just in plain text, uh, we could have done used this for anything we wanted. So I think we're gonna call uh, the support again. We're gonna ask some more clarifying questions 
And at the same time as we talk to the agent, I'm gonna find some questions here that seems pretty difficult to answer. And we're gonna see if they can answer us pretty quick because I think the latency is pretty good here. So let's just call up the agent again and let's uh, let's ask some more difficult uh, questions about Cloud Code. But first, let me tell you about today's sponsor, and that is gonna be me, right? So uh, I have created like this uh, AIvideocourse.com. So this is like a platform if you wanna dive deep into AI video, master AI videos, generate some passive income. If you have like a side hustle you wanna start and you wanna dive into AI video, I think this is a good place to start. So uh, just to show you some examples, so I had the channel I just started like a couple of days ago just as a test channel. So you can see here uh, in the first two days we generated 86,400 views and we gained 60 subscribers. You can see we just started it. That's, is that two, two days ago? Yeah, two, two, three days ago. We almost have 100,000 views. So definitely this is working pretty good. So if this is something you're interested in, go check out this platform. You can find the link in the description below. And we have the Google Tree VO uh, course is up, but I'm also working on like a budget uh, option because VO3 gets very expensive. So that module is probably gonna be up in a few days. That is gonna be, uh, yeah creating AI video on a budget. So check it out in the description below if this is something you're interested in. And yeah, let's go back to the video. Yeah, hello? Hello, I'm Alex, your Claude Code support agent. How can I help you today? Hi Alex, uh, I'm Chris. I just have a question about Claude Code. I just downloaded this, I'm ready to start. Uh, could you help me? Hi Chris, I'd be happy to help. I can certainly guide you through the basics of getting started with Claude Code. To make sure I give you the best advice, could you tell me a bit about what you're hoping to achieve with Cloud Code? Are you looking to understand a code base, make code changes, or something else? Uh, I'm, uh, I'm just gonna do some edits on my code base. Is that something for Cloud Code? Yes, absolutely. Cloud Code is designed to help you make edits to your code base. It can help you with a variety of tasks, such as fixing bugs, adding new features, refactoring code, and more. Okay, that sounds pretty interesting. Uh, I have a specific question. So, uh, I'm kind of at the menu now, right? And there's something uh, called MCP. Is that available? Yes, MCP or Model Context Protocol is available in Claude Code. It allows Claude Code to interact with external tools and services. Would you like to know more about MCP and how to use it? Uh, not really now. I was just wondering if uh, MCP can be run locally, uh, right? I understand your question. MCP servers can be run locally, yes. This allows you to connect Claude Code to tools and services that are running on your own machine or within your local network. Okay, that's pretty cool, right? Uh, there's one flag here I'm wondering about. It's dash dash verbose. What does that do? The EO verbose flag is very useful. When you use it, it enables verbose logging. This means that Claude Code will show you the full turn-by-turn -turn output, which can be helpful for debugging in both print and interactive modes. Okay, is there a command to list uh, tools that uh, should be allowed without prompting the user for permission? Yes, there is. You can use the allow tools flag to specify a list of tools that Claude Code should be allowed to use without prompting for permission. You can also configure this in your settings.json file. Okay, that's pretty cool. So, if I wanted to skip permissions, how could I do that? You can use the skip permission prompts flag to skip permission prompts. However, please use this with caution, as it can potentially allow Claude Code to perform actions without your explicit approval. Okay, 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 I understand. So what happens if I press uh, Control D? Pressing Control plus D in Quad Code will exit the session. It's the end of file signal which tells the program that there's no more input. Okay, that's pretty cool. So yeah, uh, I think this looks pretty good. And there's just one more thing uh, I wanted to ask about. And that is, uh, a friend of mine likes to use NeoVim. Is that supported? Yes, Quad Code supports Vim mode. You can enable it with the vim slash command or configure it permanently via your settings, JSON file. This will allow you to use vim style editing within Claude Code. Okay, thanks Alex. Yeah, that was good. I think I'm happy now. You're very welcome, Chris. 
I'm glad I could help. If you have any more questions in the future, feel free to ask. Happy coding. Thank you. Bye. Okay, so that was pretty cool, right? That worked pretty well. I think it answered everything we asked about. So what's going to happen now, you can see if we go into our terminal now, you can see we found uh, one new conversation here, right? Found new, one new conversation and we're starting to pull this data. OpenAI is going to do an analysis on that. I think that's already done. So if we open up our, um, yeah, we can start with looking at some other stuff here. Our transcript, right? So here's the full transcript. You can see, my name is Chris, hi Alex. And here is everything we talked about. Here was kind of the, I asked about the control D question. We got a good answer to that, right? Perfect. And this is the analysis we ended up with. So this is the Cloud Code Support Performance Report. We had the date and everything. We got the model. So the issue type, general inquiry about getting started with Cloud Code and specific feature questions, what we asked about technical accuracy we have uh, conversation analysis so agent performance was excellent we like that the customer seems very satisfied with the support receipt we have some key insights while support was excellent providing proactive guidance on coming starting points okay so we have some improved opportunities um, action items not required training needs not immediately training as the agent demonstrated excellent knowledge. Okay, okay, pretty good. We have some quote. Okay, that's pretty pretty cool, right? Did I say that? I say customer. Uh, thanks, Alex. Yeah, that was good. I think I'm happy now. So what is good about this transcription is that we can see what the customer says. It clearly kind of uh, separates this, right? So that's pretty cool for the analysis. Uh, we can also, uh, we should be able to download our conversation. I don't know why that didn't work now, but uh, usually we get the conversation uh, in here and we can listen back to it. But uh, that should work. If, I, I don't know what happened here, but uh, we can also go back to 11 labs. And if we click on our conversation now, we can play it back, right? Yeah, hello. Hello, I'm Alex, your Claude Code Support Agent. How can I help you today? So yeah, that works too. That's pretty cool, right? So uh, yeah, that is kind of how I have been creating this simple support agents and it's super easy to use. Uh, I think I'm not 100% sure if this is available for everyone now. I think it should be. And this just makes uh, creating these support agents for your business super easy if you just have a Twilio setup number, right? So I had a lot of fun with this. So if this is something you're interested in, definitely check out Conversational AI from Eleven Labs. I think it's pretty cool. And you can kind of build out these uh, su super cool uh, pipelines by using transcription and stuff. I just dip my toes into this. I haven't done any deep dives. I just wanted to test it out and create this uh, workflow here. So yeah. So I hope you enjoyed this. Hope this gave you some inspiration. If you're into AI video, don't forget to check out the link in the description below. And I'll probably see you again tomorrow or very soon. So yeah, enjoy your day.